let's have no, let's now have a look at our specific example where we've where we've actually sold some jalapeno bean dip to to a company called Redfield Supermarkets, and let's see if we let's let, let's see if we can identify where the ingredients actually came from. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually find that particular customer through a customer search. Okay, I'm going to look for my customer based on its name. I don't know the code, so I'm going to search for it. I've got various customers here with the name red in it, with the word red in it, and I'm going to pick out Redfield Supermarkets. We'll select Andrew Johnson as our contact, and what we'll now do is we'll now look at the customer history. So for Redfield Supermarkets, we've got quite a bit of activity that we've, that we've actually had recently. So somewhere in one of my deliveries, we've actually got some bean dip that we've sent to them. Now, I don't know which particular shipment it is that I'm concerned about. I've got a few here dated November. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my latest uh, sales order and see if I can identify it through there. So I'm going to go to my order and I'm going to look at the detail behind it. Okay, so we're looking back at the sales order screen now. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to fast track and I'm going to go down to my lines. And we can see here that here's my jalapeno bean dip product. And the, and, and the customer has, here has ordered uh, a 66, a 66 case lot. So let's see what happened to that lot. So we can look, click on the action icon and go down to a traceability inquiry. And this journal traceability inquiry is focusing now on this particular sales order. If I look at the bottom section of my screen, I can see that the order was raised, that we picked the stock, we delivered it to our customer, we then invoiced and then posted that invoice into the system. So, so in order to find out information about what I actually did send to the customer, it's probably best if I look at the delivery note. So let's go into the delivery and actually look at the delivery details. Here we're actually looking at the shipment record. If I go down to, if I scroll down, I'm looking at the detailed line lines for my particular order. Here we are, my jalapeno bean dip, 66 cases, and there it is. There's my lot number. That's what I need to focus on in order to, in order to find out more about the ingredients that were actually shipped to the customer. So now that I've done that, I'm going to use my bookmarks. I'm going to do a traceability inquiry from here. And this is now a general traceability inquiry, not just of the order, but actually of the product itself. I know that in this case, I know that my, I know my product code is FIN304 but I could have used my magnifying glass in order to search for it and find it. Going across to the lot number field, I can now click on the list of available lots for that particular product, and, I, and you can see I've got quite a few here. The one I'm interested in is the one right at the end, my most recent one. And I'm going to display my selection. But we need to see some more information. We've got a lot number here, and that's the lot number that was assigned to the product when it was received. If you want to see more detail behind this, and actually we do in this case, I'm going to click on the detail button here, which is going to take me to a slightly different view of the data. So again, I've got all of my levels of the levels of the bomb displayed. Here's my onion powder, and if I scroll across, then we can see that this particular lot of information came from Mexico. That was the that was the that was the source of the product. So so our receipt may well have come from from a particular supplier. Uh, but, this, but the origin of the product is actually Mexico. And we could have added extra information. So here, for example, for the paprika, we've said that it came from Hungary and it's come from Budapest. But we could add extra information. We could add whatever information we need for our particular product. So with that, I'd just like to now really close the session and say thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I hope you found it useful. And if you do need to get in touch, please use any of the details on the screen here or you can email me directly. Um, it, it just remains for me to say thank you very much for joining and have a great rest of your day.